Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. Um, today's video, finally I'm posting the cage reaction video, I'm sorry it took so long. Um, so before we get started, remember to subscribe, like this video and comment down below if you want. Um, and I'd just like to say that um, all the cages, like cage submissions I got were amazing and I really liked all the setups. I didn't really have much criticism or like any, not really any improvements and I think all the hamsters are very lucky to have these cages and these setups and they're all very very adorable and I'm going to try and put like the photos here when I'm talking about the cages so yeah <laughs> so the first cage we have is from the life of Lenny it is the preview 528 cage I think which has about 612 square inches which is great about six inches of bedding which is a mix of KT and Aspen um, and then a 12 inch silent runner and then obviously you'd see all the little bits that are in there as well sand bath um, like the grass stuff and uh, the dirt and things like that like not dirt but like cocoa soil or eco earth soil stuff which is really nice I love all the enrichment that's in there like some sprays and like bendy bridges and I love the chamber I think it's like a chamber hideout I really like that I think again that you don't have to do any of these improvements if you don't want to because they're all amazing setups as they are but um, I only really have like two suggestions if you want or if Lenny's like a little bit bored um, but because you have a wire cage I would suggest maybe getting some hanging chew toys so that you can like tie them up to the side of the cage or um, like I'll try and find a picture but like on Amazon they have these um, platforms that you can just put on the wire and like hook them up and stuff and then you can just put like a bendy bridge to get to for the hamster to get to it. Um, I think that might be a good idea to utilize all the space because that's just in case he's like getting bored or anything because you have that like wire space to be able to add more things. But yeah, that's really all I had and it's a great setup. You did a good job. Next is Willow and Friends setup. Um, which is a 693 square inch bin cage which is amazing and um, an 8.5 inch wheel for her Syrian but his back doesn't bend so that is perfectly fine as long as the back doesn't bend and it's completely straight it's fine um, 7 to 8 ish inches of bedding which is great and it's like a non scented paper based one um, I think that's great and then again you don't have to do these suggestions if you don't want because I think it's a really nice busy setup for him to just explore but um, I was thinking maybe because the water bottle like you made a really nice stand for it but because like it kind of does take up a little bit of his room just to run about maybe if you get like industrial velcro so you stick it to like the edge of the bin and then the water bottle and then stick it up on the wall of it I speak very quickly. <laughs> that might be a good um, idea just to give more room and then maybe um, you could add a hide in a sand bath, it just depends on the hamster. I mean I think I don't see Syrians rolling that much but they might just like the privacy. And I love that little watermelon bowl that you have in there, it's so cute. Um, but maybe like instead of having it in the middle, I don't know if you've moved it since um, doing the like submitting it the cage but maybe like if you want to keep it in like put it in a corner so that it doesn't like take up the running space for him um, but really I don't really have any other suggestions it's very busy and it looks really really fun so yeah um, next one is from Falls Animals or two so she has a 500 square inch bin cage for, um, I hope I say this right, Cooper? I always say names wrong, but yeah, um, which is great. Uh, the bedding looks 
nice and deep from Tiburon. I like the um, the dish you use for the sand baths in both of the setups. Uh, I think that's really f funny and like cute. Um, I love the water bowl. I think that's a great uh, thing to have. I, I don't really have too many suggestions, but on the pictures, like in his enclosure, there's like a water bottle um, laying down. So maybe like you can velcro it in the shallow part or like move it because it does seem to take up a little bit of space up there. Um, and again, maybe a hide in a sand bath. I don't really have too many suggestions. It's looking great. Um, and then for Cleo's enclosure, which you just upgraded to a 450 square inch bin cage, which is great again. Um, there's still nice deep bedding and I, l I really like all the natural stuff you put in. Obviously you'll be able to see it here, it's really natural and I wish I could have some of the stuff that you have in there. It's really cool and I like how you layered it, how it's like, um, I think you layered it with like hay some of the safe hay and then just to keep the burrows steady and like um, to keep them up I, I've not already got anything for that enclosure maybe just like I think you had a food dish in there like a terracotta like dish thing uh, you could take that out if you wanted um, and just scatter feed I don't know if you have that in or not I thought I saw it but <laughs> there's pretty much nothing I have to suggest it looks really nice and the sprays and stuff that you added in will really keep it nice and enriching. Holly's Pets has a 515 square inch bin cage which is again fine. Um, I love the size wheel, I mean I use the Trixie wheels for both my dwarf and um, Syrian and um, I like the bedding depth is great and all the um, chews it's nice and like busy and um, just for it to you know chew and then I love the chamber hideout as well I really need to get one of those <laughs> um, again to improve I think maybe like you don't have to do this but because it's so like a nice long bin cage and the flow looks really nice maybe like where the wheel is don't have bedding but just make it a sand pit in itself like a little sand section um with the hide in it because you had a hide in the picture which is great um but maybe just turn that section where the um wheel is into like a sand bit so it keeps a like nice flow and um it doesn't have to have like the little dish thing but you don't have to do that if you don't want, that's just because I can't really find anything wrong with it. Um, and finally, Kawaiish Life um, has a IKEA Detolf which has about 950 square inches I believe, which is amazing, it's great. Um, then it has nice deep bedding in most of it and then it's very busy and enriching like there's loads of chews and hides and I just had a hiccup <laughs> and then um, yeah there's just a lot to do and a nice size wheel and everything like that um, and then again with this kind of like sand bath thing I don't know I couldn't see one but it might just be me not being able to see um, but I didn't see a sand bath so maybe if you can have a sand bath or if you do already I'm sorry I just couldn't see but yeah sand bath a uh, little section because the detail's so long it would be nice to have a nice section of sand bath for like digging and stuff but yeah you all did really well I, I loved all your setups and again all your hamsters are so adorable um, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye!